Hi Crafty Planner, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my content. Now, if you are a returning subscriber, then thank you very much and welcome back. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, then you will know that this I don't usually do. Generally, all of my videos, you will see like the tabletop and I will be sharing with you whatever it is that I am showing you in that particular video. But today I decided to do something a little bit different because I recently went to my very first planner conference and I would like to share my experience with you. So I thought that this would be a little bit more personal and I hope that you enjoy this video. So the conference that I went to was the Chicago Planner Conference, and that was held over February 28th, the 29th, which was Leap Day, and March 1st. And I am actually from Chicago, and when I purchased my ticket, I at that time decided that I was going to commute back and forth. Well, once I joined the Facebook group for the attendees of the conference and started reading posts and hearing suggestions and ideas from other attendees that had been there before, I quickly changed my mind and decided that I wanted to stay at the hotel. Now the hotel that it was held at is the Lowe's Hotel downtown and they were already booked which wasn't a problem because they had opened up rooms across the street at the Sheridan Hotel and it's literally steps away. So if you decide that you wanna attend the conference next year and the Lowe's books up, then you can definitely find rooms at the Sheridan and it, it's not a big deal. Like you just walk right across, it's so super close, it's not a problem at all. So I stayed at the Sheridan and the conference itself was Friday. It started at five was the registration. So I was able to check in a little bit early. When I checked in, I did decide to go on the Facebook group for the attendees and just, you know, say, hey, I'm Tina and I'm here. I'm a newbie. What do I do next? So everybody was really nice put comments on there and I decided to go to the Lowe's Hotel and get something to eat in like they have a lobby bar area there which is very nice but a tip it's very expensive um, but I did meet a couple of girls there because they saw that I had checked in on the Facebook group and they you know came up to me and it was really nice and one of the girls names was Kim and the other girl was Amy and I had spoken with Amy before because I was um, we followed each other on Instagram so it was really nice to be able to finally meet you know somebody that you speak with on Instagram so that was a lot of fun and we just had a really nice little like conversation and we ate a little something and then we just we got in line and we met a whole bunch of other newbies which was awesome and we just you know started to exchange our little swaps and I would show you one but I don't have one of them right now. Um, I just made a little paper clip with a ribbon and then just a business card. I decided to do business cards rather than contact cards, which the contact cards are adorable, by the way. Um, basically, they're just got your information on there with some stickers. You can purchase them from various shops that offer them. So just a little tip if you, you know, have never been to a conference before and you want some tips, that would be definitely one of the tips to create some type of contact card. And we just talked in line. It was lots of fun. The registration went very smoothly. During the registration, we received our lanyard. So here's the lanyard. Really nice. And um, it's got the strap. And these buttons I added on later because I collected but buttons throughout the conference. And then on the back, was this little, like, little pocket holder that you got this little booklet, which was just the itinerary for the weekend. Hopefully you can see that. 
and very, very informative. And then you also were given this really cute swag provided by the Pink Room Company. And this was a room key that I think probably worked if you were staying at the Lowe's, but I was staying at the Sheridan and I, I didn't really try it, so maybe it worked there, I don't know. But, um, and then we were also given, if you were a newbie, this little color coded card. Now, nothing really came of this, um, but I'll go into that a little bit more. And then on the back side, got our table number that we were told that we were going to be sitting at. And then the two workshops that I had signed up for were on there as well. So that was pretty neat. So everybody, of course, had their lanyard to wear um, throughout the entire conference. And then we also received swag. Now, the first swag we received was from cloth and paper. Now, I have got to admit that I, if you are a subscriber to my channel, then you know that I am a happy planner girl. Like, happy planner is like my jam, okay? So, all of these other companies, I was just not familiar with them. I mean, I did do a little research before I went to the conference, so I knew a little bit about them just from that, but it, it's just different kind of seeing the product up front, which is really, really nice, you know, in hand. And this was what they gave us. They gave us, it came with this card. I took it out of the packaging because it was like very glaring, but it came like this with a little card here and a thank you. Thank you so much. And then, um, these like little dots, which were pretty neat because I think that they are clear dots, but I'm gonna just open it really quickly for you. I'm not gonna do this with all the swag because, it, it, ooh, there's a lot. I haven't really opened it, um, but like you get all of these little dots in here and then there's also more stickers for the your planner. Okay, so these are all the same and they're really nice with a gold foil. And so we received that swag, which was awesome. Then they handed us a bag, okay? A bag of swag, holy cow. So this was really nice because obviously we could carry anything in here, but what was in it? All of that, oh my gosh, so much stuff. Now, I already went through this and sort of organized it based on like what I really like and maybe, I mean, cause not obviously not everything you get is going to be your style, but so much stuff. So look at all of the stuff that I got. It was just, it was just so much stuff in here. Like all of this, so awesome. And it was really, really exciting. So. The one of the girls that I met, Kim, was also staying at the Sheridan. So her and I, after we registered, we went back to our hotel because we had a little bit of time because the actual conference did not kick off until seven that night. And we decided to go back to the hotel and we sat in the lobby and we just like went through our swag. It was so much fun. Like I had the best time doing that. And you know, it was really nice to be able to like, oh, look at this. Oh, did you see this? Oh my gosh. It was just that part of it was like just a lot of fun because when I come home from the store, when I go shopping or I get something, you know, some happy mail and I'm really excited about it, I am really excited about it and my husband just like you know he listens which is nice but it's just not the same because he doesn't share the same excitement that of course that I do or you would so it was really nice to be able to like sit down with somebody and do that so that was like sort of like one of those cool moments of the conference so I really liked that so after that we just both went up to our respective rooms and just kind of hung out until we were ready to go back to the conference. So we decided to meet up and head over to the conference later that evening for the newbie mixer that they were having. And we got in line and it didn't really, I don't know what happened. I don't know if um, 
I think that plans just maybe might have changed or they changed how they were going to do it. I have no idea because this little color card that they had given us was supposed to be for that and we never did anything with it, but I don't know. But what we ended up doing was going to the make and takes. Now, you're probably wondering, what is a make and take? I will tell you what a make and take is. It is pretty much you go into each individual room and they have sponsors that show you different like crafts, which I thought was really fun because I got to learn some different things. I got to learn about like different crafts that maybe I've seen but have just never really, you know, you know, thought about investing and trying it because who wants to invest money into something if you're not going to like it? So I really, really liked the make and takes because it was just a lot of fun. However, they're pretty quick. Like you go in, you're in there for like 10 or 15 minutes and then you move on. And I'll be honest, like it can take me a long time to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> So for me to be in and out in 10, 15 minutes, that was a little quick for me, but I had a really good time and I like made the best of it and I didn't overthink it. I just like went with it. So I'm going to share with you what I made for my make and takes. All right. So the first one that I went into was sponsored by Michelle Hill of Polka Dot Whimsy. Now, I, again, I did not know who she was super cute by the way and we made a planner charm dangle and look at how cute that is of course there was choices of pink and there was choices of purple and if you know me I love purple so if you don't now you do and so this was this was fun this was really pretty so I, I enjoyed that it was really cute and that was the first one. The second one we went into, I think, was with At Home with Kita. It was Marquita was there and she did a make and take. I got to meet her and to get a picture with her and she's so super sweet. So that was a lot of fun. And we did these little like pop-ups um, in the shop. So that was really cute. Again, like, you know, quick decision making and it takes me forever to figure out what I want to do, but that's what I ended up doing in that make and take. And then I don't remember what came next, but I'm gonna just tell you what I have here. And this one was sponsored by a Television Train Wreck, and her name is October. It was leather crafting and stamping. And this was my little sad little creation. <laughs> Basically, she provided the leather and then you pick the stamps and you, you know, try to put the stamps on there and it, you know, it's sort of like turned out I've never done any stamping before. I had no idea what I was doing, but it was pretty fun. So that was that one. The next one that we went into had a couple of different things within the room and this one was like um, mixing your own essential oils. So um, that was pretty neat. I have not open this up yet and I'm not going to do it now because I'll probably get it all over the place. And then there were also a little tattoo booth there which uh, temporary tattoos which I as you can see didn't even do mine but I took it. I took it with me as a memento and then these little booklets were by Hello Stationery and you were able there were different ones with different patterns and you could like color them in and this one was a little bit like I said, it takes me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. So that's as far as I got with that, but that's okay because it was fun. And then after that, things got kind of a little bit messy for me, but uh, we did some stenciling and I don't remember what shop it was, but it's actually my favorite thing that I made. And I thought that that was really fun. I did this, this is a stencil. I was able to like do it like the ink that was provided. And then I think that was Jessica Chung. She went ahead and wrote my name out and that was really pretty. I really like that. I think that probably do something with this card. And then the next thing I did was creative card making. And actually I like the way this turned out too. That was really cute. So I never had done that before. Again, I got, this is all like 
um, stamping, like stenciling with the ink and it was messy. It was just messy. And I'm not really into the whole messy thing, but I, it was fun. It was fun. I got to learn about it and see if I liked it, if it was something that I would actually want to do. And I learned that probably not, but you never know. Cause I do like my crafty stuff. So the last one that I went to was sponsored by Magical Plans and she um, showed us how to do mini lunar journal cards. So we got these cards and then she gave us stickers and we were able to like, you know, put the, put like the stickers on the cards according to like the, um, the lunar schedule, I guess is the best way to put it. And um, so that was kind of, that was really cute. I like doing that. It was just, you know, sitting and doing your own thing with stickers and you know, I love stickers. So that was fun. So that was the last make and take that we did for that evening. And then after that we shopped. Oh my goodness, did I shop. The marketplace has so many vendors and so many different shops. I mean, I was looking forward to hitting a couple of the shops there because I had purchased from them before, but I was introduced to so many other different vendors and that was pretty awesome. And if you want to see what I purchased, then I will go ahead and link that and that should be, it'll probably be up on this side. I'm like backwards, but yeah, it'll be up here and I'll link that for you because I do have a video showing everything that I purchased at the Chicago Planner Conference Vendor Marketplace. So that end of the night for Friday night. And we were there till 11 o'clock at night. And then you go back to the hotel and you try to rest, but it's really hard because you're really excited. So now Saturday is the main day of the conference and that was February 29th. And the theme of the conference was what would you do with an extra day? And I had an amazing day, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. There is so much excitement and energy because everybody is really anxious to get into the main room and see exactly who sponsored their table. And that's where you get all kinds of goodies. Okay, so you get your beautiful table set up, whatever's on there at each person's setting, that is like all yours to take home. And then the conference begins and there are speakers and the two speakers that were there for our general session for Saturday were Amber Gamp Gerstel, which I was not familiar with, totally being honest, did not know who she was, and Stephanie Fleming. Oh my gosh, I was like planner, fan, groupie, I don't know what you want to call me, but I was so excited to see her and I'm going to get into that a little bit more. The next thing I'm going to show you is what my table looked like. Well, at least the best way I could show you what my table looked like and all of the goodies that I got. I'll be right back. So these were all the goodies that were at my table and my sponsor was the Pink Room Company. And oh my gosh, I was like in awe. Such a beautiful display. And it was just, it was just, it's just really, really beautiful. So I wanna share with you everything that's on here because it's just so pretty and all of the detail that was put into it. I, I was just, I was in love with it. I still am. So we did get this really cute like little pencil case and um, it's like super shiny. I love it. And then in these boxes here, we got, let's see, and this one here was this right here, this beautiful holder. It's so pretty and sparkly and silver and this fits like right in here. So pretty. And this right here is like, I guess like their version of a Hobonichi, which I don't have. And that was awesome. It's such a beautiful little book. It is undated and it has got like these gold um, tipped 
pages so when it's closed you can see the gold foil on there absolutely beautiful just so so beautiful and really generous and then in this box was the planner holder i love it i don't have anything like this it is a six ring i believe it's a b6 and again just something i'm not really familiar with and really really excited to receive because i can try something different and i love that idea so that was really really generous and then we've got, I'm gonna move this out of the way because look at the beautiful Tower of Washi. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. And I, I, I don't even know, I can't not wait to start using it. So it, it came with this really cute little touch, this flower, you know, you know, from the Pink Room Company and it, she just had a little note on here thanks a bunch enjoy and have fun today um, from Cindy and then thank you from the Pink Room Company so really just like cute little touches I love it and just this is a tower of washi oh my gosh and it looks like like little macaroons you know but look at how beautiful like all the detail that was put into these and I think I have enough washi to last me. Like really pretty, pretty washi. Like this is totally my style. I love this, it's very beautiful and feminine. And then look at this little teacup with some more washi in it. It just was really so cute. And I can't wait to put this little tower in my office. Once I get that all like organized, I'm gonna put that in there. And then this, what is, I did know at the time, it's a funny story, that this is a bag. This is a bag that opens up. I had no idea that that's what it was. I brought my own bag, so I didn't have any problem carrying anything back to the room, but um, this is a bag. So note to self for next time or to yourself, if you ever see this little um, bag, 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 see you. I don't even know how to say that. But anyway, if you ever see something like this, <laughs> open it up because it's a bag. Okay. All right. Just a little tip. So I'm just going to move this to the side here. And then we had, um, after like all of that excitement, because there was so much excitement and taking pictures, and then you get to like meet everybody at the table, and then you just exchanged all of your table mate gifts. And that's another tip if you've never been to a conference before. It is not like mandatory, it's just a nice gesture that you make little gifts or you purchase little gifts for the people that you sit with at the table. So you sit at a table of 10, so you would make nine gifts, and then you just go ahead and exchange gifts, you introduce yourself, take pictures. There was so much going on. I honestly was pretty overwhelmed. It was a very overwhelming experience because I'd never gone before. So lots and lots of stuff going on after, um, all of that excitement then the actual conference began the first speaker was amber camp gerstel and she's from at damask love and i'll be honest i had no idea who she was she was just full of lots of energy and excitement and we actually did a little crafting with her we were all given supplies at the table and then we just sort of passed things around and we made this really cute little badge with the pin on it and it was really cute so that was fun and mine says yes queen um i was one of the last ones to pick and probably wasn't really my choice because i don't really refer to myself um as queen <laughs> but that's what i got and that's what i've got to go with so anyway but it's kind of cute because it all like matches anyway so that was really cute then we had an Oprah moment because that is when we got the like the swag like the swag drop the they come in with 
you know, your freebie. And that was so much fun, lots of energy. And let me share with you the first thing that I got. The first thing I got was from Plum Paper. So now if you are not familiar with Plum Paper, I was not familiar with Plum Paper. It is a company that does planners. And I have to tell you, the paper is like butter. I mean, it is beautiful. I'm gonna take this out of the bag here. And it came with this card here, which also um, does some like introduction to it. And then there's a coupon code on the back for us, which was nice, which I have to use still because I definitely want to. And then here's the actual planner itself. It's really, really nice. It's like a separate cover. And then um, we've got the cover here. Now her covers, you can customize these. You can definitely personalize them and the paper it's so soft. I kid you not. It's beautiful, beautiful paper. I really love it. It's totally different from what I'm used to. It's actually probably um, more like what I used to use before I was, before I found out about the Happy Planner. Um, because to me, it's a very functional type of planner and there are different styles in here and you could definitely like go to her site and see everything that she has to offer because it's, she's got a lot of things to choose from. There are a lot to choose from on her site. So that was really neat. It was like a three month, like a child planner with, um, you know, different tabs in here for like meals to do's. Um, there's like a coloring section a folder in the back. So it's a beautiful planner. I really, really like that. And I, I really think I'm going to take advantage and pick myself up one. And then she also provided us with some stickers. So um, a sticker kit in here. So that was awesome, like awesome swag. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what is happening? I couldn't believe all of the beautiful things whoops, that I, that I was going to be able to take home. I just did not know what to expect. I heard that you get a lot of swag, but I did not expect all of this. So the next speaker is Stephanie Fleming. And I was in awe because happy planner girl. So I had a total like planner fan, like crush moment. It was so much fun just to see her there and you know, she's a trooper. Like she had a pretty bad week and she still made it to the conference. And that was awesome because when I found out that um, she had had something go on earlier in the week that might prevent her from going to the conference, I have to admit I was disappointed, but of course I wish her well. And, you know, I understand I completely understand that, um, you know, things happen. You can't control them. But she was there. She made it. It was awesome to see her, awesome to hear her speak. And then we got another Oprah moment. Oh, my gosh. So let me share with you what we got from the Happy Planner. We got a box. We got the social type. I did not get this box, but I did not expect, I didn't even realize that that was what was in this because like I said, it was pretty overwhelming. The day was pretty overwhelming and it was pretty exciting. I'm going to open it up and I'm not sure if you got this, but I was, I cannot believe that we got this. That's crazy. It was just crazy to me. I was just like in awe. I could not believe it. And it was pretty exciting. So if you've not seen this box, this is like everything that comes in here. There's like this big heart pad of paper and just some really, really cute um, things. Um, honestly, I haven't even like unpackaged any of this as you can see. There's some uh, nail stickers on in here. Um, oh, this is cute. A tab, dashboard, and there's the planner. There's the planner in here. Oh my gosh. 
it was really exciting. So that is just, wow, it's so cool to actually like get this. I can't believe that we got all of this stuff. I was really, really excited. <laughs> And there's paper and there's stickers down here and oh my goodness so yeah lots of stuff in here just like the whole social type box so if you got the social type box you know everything that's in here and that's pretty that was pretty exciting So at the end of the general session, I was able to like gather all of my stuff together and I was able to actually wait and meet and chat with Stephanie Fleming. And that was like so amazing. Like I was so excited to meet her and she is so sweet. Like she, it wasn't just like a quick, oh, hi, and you know, autograph and, um, you know, quick picture. I mean, she took the time and we chatted a little bit. It was just a really, really nice encounter. And I was really happy to have met her. And I was just like on cloud nine. So I get back to my hotel room after that because now we're on lunch break. And my husband had joined me downtown and he was at the room and he was just like, you are so excited right now. And I was, I was, I was just like beaming with excitement. Like it was just very, um, I was like a little kid, just like a little kid on Christmas morning. So it was an amazing experience. And then after that, we had our workshops and the first workshop that I had was with Marquita from At Home with Kita, and that was awesome. She had happy planner items there, and I'm gonna share that with you. So her workshop was Plan an Organized Life, and we were able to get some more goodies in the workshop. We got a book of colorful boxes. I love colorful boxes. And then we also got this happy notes. And there were different ones at the table. And um, I picked this one, Have Courage and Be Kind. And this one was the sketch paper. So it's just no lines in there. And then what she had us um, work on was like to create a fold out goal sheet. So this was mine. I'll share it with you here. And it's just as it was. I haven't done anything else with it yet, but um, we had washi there to choose from and we just like connected the pages and they were like fold outs and however many pages you wanted to put together. So this is the pretty washi that I had picked. And then we were able to like start adding our stickers in here and basically just create a section for like each part of our life that we want to organize and have this for like our goals for whatever you know, like category in your life that you are responsible for. So like your home, if you have children, um, your work, you know, anything like that, or, you know, relationship with your significant other, any like goals that you might have. And, um, you know, just, just sort of create this like fold out page and categorize like each page. So that was pretty neat. I thought that was really awesome and um, was able to stop and chat with her afterward and get a picture with her. And that was just a lot of fun. And I, of course, I had seen her the night before in her um, make and take session. So it was nice. It was just really nice. So um, that was the first workshop that I attended. And we were actually able to try to choose whatever workshops we wanted to get in to. And since I really was not familiar with anybody else that was there, in all honesty, the second workshop, I just, you know, sort of picked what I thought sounded interesting. And I was in the workshop Travel Doodles with Bella and she is from the Modest Cat and it, you know what it was really interesting because she provided like this really nice workbook and had all of these different um, activities in here that you know to um, how to like begin doodling and all of this so it 
it was awesome. Like I learned like a lot of stuff and there's just a lot of things in here that, um, you know, I would definitely go back and look at and read through and, you know, when you have a little bit more time. And then there was also these like this little um, note memo book that she provided and you were able to like do your own like drawings in there and that kind of thing. So um, I probably didn't participate as much. I was, I think I was listening a little bit more than actually participating and drawing things out. And I, you know, was chatting with girls at the table, but it was just, I mean, I thought it was a great workshop and she really did put like a lot of time and effort and detail in, you know, putting this together. So that was really, really nice. So once the workshops ended, then there was a break, but um, it was a pretty big break, but the break actually also included like the last time you could shop at the vendors in the marketplace. So of course I went back and I did pick up a few things that I had seen from the night before and I wasn't sure if I wanted them. So I was able to pick up those things and then just, you know, kind of do another sweep of the whole, um, vendor marketplace then we had our nice little break which was awesome because I have to tell you I was pretty hungry um that's the one thing you kind of want to plan ahead your meals like what are you going to get to eat because um things can be a little pricey at the hotel so you know if you like do like maybe a DoorDash or um have somebody maybe walk and pick up sandwiches. There was a Whole Foods not too far from there. I was lucky because my husband was there, so I made sure I had him like go pick up some sandwiches for us, so that way I had something to eat um, for the like dinner break. So the dinner break lasted till seven. So at seven o'clock, the con you know there were more activities going on with the conference. There was a lot going on like at the same time. There was some make and takes. I was just pretty tired at that moment. So rather than like really pushing myself, I just decided to take it a little bit easy. And I ended up getting to the conference a little bit later. I actually ended up missing the make and takes that they did have that night. Then there was a karaoke party and a dance party, which I definitely went to that. I did not participate in any karaoke because I am by no means a singer. So, but um, one of the girls that I met, Amy, she was there and she was awesome. And I mean, those girls could sing like that was really entertaining. So that was that was a lot of fun. And then we had a dance party and that was a lot of fun. And then there was also a podcast going on and that was also a lot of fun. So I definitely hit like all of those things, um, did some pictures and you know, just had a really good time, like just socializing at that point. I think I was sort of like, I had already maxed out all of my like planner fun at that point, if that's possible. And I just really wanted to like socialize with, you know, all of these great women that like love everything that I love. So that's what I did. And then that was another, you know, up, you know, stayed there till 11 o'clock. So that was fun. And then we wrapped everything up on Sunday and uh, we will talk about Sunday next. So Sunday started at 9 a.m. and there was breakfast that was provided and that was nice. So it was a buffet style and we were able to sit in the same room where the general session was held the day before. And those tables were not assigned so you were able to pick whatever table you wanted to sit at, which was really nice because we were able to sit at a table like with the group of girls that I had met and pretty much hung around with for the conference. So that was really nice to be, you know, like kind of end the conference with, you know, sitting with all of those ladies. So I really enjoyed that. And when we got at our tables, we did have a little piece of swag from a Chrissy Ann Designs a sticker sheet that we got. And this is really pretty. I like the color of the pink and it just the pinks coordinate with the color of the conference itself. So that was really nice. And then there were three speakers on Sunday, and uh, the first person to speak was from Villa Beautiful, and that was Tiffany Ross. 
Now, I, again, was not familiar with any of the speakers that were there, but she is the creator of Villa Beautiful. And if you are not familiar with what Villa Beautiful is, she creates these beautiful pens. And I'm not sure what other products she does offer, but she is known for her beautiful pens. So she shared her story with us and, you know, how she came to be where she was. And it was, you know, a very interesting story. And I really did enjoy listening to her speak. And we got some more swag. Oh my gosh. So she, everybody got two of her pens. They are beautiful. Let me show you in this cute little pouch so pretty and um i mean they are really beautiful they not only look beautiful but they write beautifully so we got these two pens and let me open one of these up to just take it out of the packaging because there's probably some glare but look at how beautiful they are with all of the detail with all of like the beautiful little um crystal gems in there i love them and this one has got like a rose gold trim to it with the gray with the beautiful pink um, little gemstones in there and then this one is not opening here we go um, this one is pink with gold trim and then like just like the silvery crystally gems in there. So pretty, so um, just, it's just so girly. I love it. So I was really excited to get that little piece of swag. We got each of us got two pens. That was awesome. And then after we had that little fun moment, we listened to Christina Cardos. And Christina Cardos is the founder of Plum Paper, and we received her planner swag the day before. So again, I didn't know anything about her, so it was really nice to see these ladies and hear their stories and just learn about them. And the last speaker for the conference was Cindy Gwentert Baldo. Now, she is a YouTuber and a podcaster, and she's a lot of fun. Like, she will tell you straight. Like, she's real talk. I really liked her, and um, she was just, I really enjoyed her talk, and she provided a lot of useful information about sitting down and discovering like who you are and writing it out and kind of like a nice exercise. I didn't take any notes. <laughs> I was so busy listening. And I do find that if I am like writing and, you know, taking pictures and doing all of that, I tend to sort of like miss out on the actual experience. So I decided to just stop and listen and I really enjoyed that. So, and then we received one more piece of swag. Let me share that with you. And got this adorable bag. Look at how cute this is. And this was from Shine Studio. Sorry, Shine Sticker Studio, okay? And there's goodies inside. This is a nice bag, by the way. Um, there's this little pouch here, and there's actually something in the pouch. Uh, there's a pop socket in here, so that's really cute. And some washi. And this really cute little plush doll. Look how cute she is. With a little keychain on it. I like her. And then they did include this card. And then they also offered that if anybody wanted to switch out their little pop socket that they got with the little character on there and the little plushie for a dark skin tone, then they could do that as well. So that was that was really nice. Just a really um some really fun, cute swag from them. 
And then there were raffles, like there was a long list of raffles. Um, I didn't win anything, but that's okay. I was really excited though, because a couple of the girls at the table and girls that I had met and hung out with, they um, won. I was hoping that somebody at our table would win. So it was really nice that two of the girls won something. But um, yeah, it was a really, really fun time. Got to meet a lot of wonderful ladies and I cannot wait to do it next year. I really look forward to that and I hope that you enjoyed my recap of the Chicago Planner Conference and maybe it might be something that you might want to do next year for 2021 or maybe you would want to attend another conference and I hope that you like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up on it. Please remember to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my content. Also, I am on Instagram at It's a Wonderful Plan. So be sure to uh, check me out and follow me there because you will see things there that you don't always see here on my YouTube channel. Thank you again and have a wonderful week. Bye.